Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I am back on 18w11a. I can't hear myself talking right now. Last week, the Sumo Void, uh, a very popular Minecraft YouTuber, he made a video about infinite fish spawning. He demonstrated it using a slab with water, the new mechanic. And I'm gonna see that and raise you, the Sumo Void, a door. Let's just get rid of that. I I can't I can't focus. That was kind of cute. So how many were there? Like 300 or something? Yeah. I spawned about 300 fish. Okay, so you guys might already know about this, but if you place water in a transparent block, it will be placed. And this comes with some unusual features or glitches. You get a fish. You get another fish. And another one. And another one. And you can just hold this down. And you actually place them pretty slowly. It's not 20 times a second, which is fine. But this doesn't shy away from the fact that you can now have infinite fish from a single water bucket. And because this was publicized by Zuzuma, I'm pretty sure this is going to be patched. So no worries about this. Just enjoy it while you can. It's like they all just explode like a balloon. How, uh, how fascinating. Okay, so I'm going to raise you, Zuzuma, a wooden door. Actually, not me, but this is a video concept that was shared to me by Arash. Uh, he was pretty adamant. Uh, he showed me this idea where if you place a door and you right-click where the door is placed, you will spawn infinite fish. Now, I'm pretty sure the problem here is that the game hasn't placed the water source block down, which means you still have the bucket in your hand, which means you can still place the fish down. So the only change that's probably required is, because you can't place the water there, just change the bucket to a normal bucket or a water bucket. What's probably better is don't place the fish down at all. Just right click and the funny thing is it's the same fish. I'm guessing it's an easy fix. Because this works with doors, also it's- no! Oh no! Fish! Come back! Oh, no 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 no. Wow. Uh, it's the command block that's making them invulnerable. So this works, of course, with fence gates because it's working with doors. The fence gate is a similar block. It's transparent, so you can do the same thing. It's a little bit harder, but, you know, same idea. Don't place a hopper there because you'll be right-clicking into the hopper. Let's do it this way. Hopper. Shift-click. You'll be right-clicking into the hopper, so it won't work. But you'd still be placing down the fish, it'd just, just be really annoying. You'd have to keep escaping out of the uh, UI. Oh, I found the perfect spot. Oh, because I was right-clicking into... Okay, this is not good. Ne never mind. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Big thank you to Arash for showing this to me, and uh, the Zuma Void for enlightening me with this idea. Nevertheless, this is a big step forward for Minecraft. Um, the, abil the ability to transport fish in a bucket, which is, you know, raises some ethical issues, which I'm going to keep on repeating, by the way, because of, you know, what I'm talking about. Uh, Moyang, don't bring that mess into the game. You don't need to. This is a big step forward, being able to transport fish, just a little bit of a kink that needs to be updated, but hilarious nonetheless. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content, and have fun with this bug, because it is. Take care.